Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would talk about um, anxiety and do like five main tips for anxiety. I got a lot of messages from you guys on Instagram about how that you really liked my anxiety videos that I used to do and I haven't done them in a really long time. And to be honest it was just mainly because I was kind of running out with ideas and things that I did. But there is a few more things that I've done over the past couple of months that's really helped my anxiety. Um, I did find myself before Christmas really anxious and really kind of down on myself and that was probably because I was eating crap I wasn't really like exercising that much and I was really stressed at college so since I've started college and um, I started college last September I've been really stressed and like my my training has taken a backseat and um, I've tried as hard as I had to be as good at my diet and my training but it 100% is so hard to just stick to your diet and your training, especially when you're so super stressed. So hats off to anyone that's like bang on with their routine, with training and diet and their study and, and working a full time job. So I just thought I would do fa like five main tips that I find that's really helped me. I'm probably going to do a YouTube video on my anxiety journey and what's like how it kind of started and was I always anxious and all those kind of things. I want to do an actual video on that. But just today I thought I would do just a quick video on like five tips that I found really helped me. So my first tip would definitely be eat balanced meals, eat good food. So I know that's easier said than done like because when I'm anxious the first thing I want to do is just eat crap because I get so stressed I just want to eat, pick a crap food and just mindlessly eat. But the best thing you can do is actually eat good food and stick to your diet because that's going to help you feel less anxious. I know it's easier said than done but definitely stick into your diet maybe you know if you're tracking your calories just organize your food for that day just be a bit more organized if you know you're kind of anxious and you're in that mindset and you could easily you know end up binging just kind of be organized have your meals prepped and that's like the best advice i could probably give you for staying on track with your calories i know it's hard to be perfect but like some people of course those kind of people that don't binge or whatever but or like they're able to stay on track but for me definitely i end up kind of picking at stuff because i'm anxious and i get like nervous so i just pick at things so definitely organize my meals for that day making sure I have you know a few treats factored in that I can kind of have that little bit of a sweet a massive sweet tooth so having those kind of treats help me get through those anxious moments anyway so my tip number two would definitely be I would try lessen my caffeine so that's something I've spoken about before over on my Instagram is you know caffeine gives you that jittery feeling and it's going to make you feel more anxious so definitely if you're feeling a bit anxious I would try cut down the coffee like I'm a massive coffee drinker but I have found myself trying to cut down over the past couple of months and now I only have probably about one coffee a day and like even when I was on my nights last week I definitely was just having one coffee at the start of the shift and then I wouldn't have coffee for the rest of the night because I knew that I wouldn't be able to sleep that next day and plus give me that like a bit of anxiety and like you know it's giving you that jittery feeling so you know cut out as much caffeine as you can um, and especially things like pre-workout and stuff like that it's not going to help if you're if you find those things help make you anxious don't like maybe stay away from those kind of things so my tip number three and this would be something that i've integrated into my like my lifestyle over the past couple of months is but i've properly stuck to it is i've done like i've made like it's just a crappy little journal i got in pennies but it's like emotion emotion diary if that makes sense so i've kind of seen like I'm, when i was researching over, about stuff like this it's just like writing down your like emotions in a book it's kind of like a diary but it's more about your mental state so how you're feeling mentally about things sometimes i tried to i try to stay like on the topic of my mentality but obviously your mentality is going to be affected by things that's going on in your life so it's hard not to write about those things but definitely this is something that I've really like started doing daily actually since the start of this year it's just I've written things like how I'm feeling that day um, in my head like am I feeling anxious am I feeling good but actually since I've started writing this I've just been back on my diet and back eating healthy and it's crazy to see how the majority of what I'm writing in here is positive because it just shows how much a healthy diet and training does affect my mindset personally. It really helps me. So if sometimes it's good to just get something like this because I feel like I know you can talk to people or whatever, but having something like this, you can really get down how you're actually feeling. Like like there has been some negative days that I've written that I've been anxious about certain things, but definitely I've loved doing this. Is something that I definitely want to keep up into my lifestyle and it's really good for my mindset so if you guys are thinking of doing something like this definitely do it and i have my normal diary for like my other stuff but this has just been it's mainly just for my mental health 
And then my tip number, that's tip number three, tip number four is definitely going to be it, um, exercise. So even if it's just going out for a walk, just going like doing something small, getting out of the house is so good for your mindset. Like I find when I'm in the house all day, say if I'm doing college work or something like that, and then I get so stressed with college, I'm like, okay, I can't go to the gym. I have to focus on college work but at the end of the day like you need to do something distract like you need to take your mind away from that even for half an hour just to refresh your mind so do something that is for you um it doesn't have to be exercise it can be you know it can be anything it can be like painting or reading or something that's going to like take you away and have some of your you time because that was something i learned massively in the cognitive behavioral therapy was we don't focus enough on doing things for ourselves. So even if it's like 10 minutes out of your day, just do something for yourself. Even if that's have a bath, read a book, watch your favorite movie, doing something for yourself every single day. Like just be kind to yourself every single day. And that's definitely gonna help. And my tip number five would be surround yourself with good people. Find when I'm in my, mo in my worst mindset is when I'm not around people that are making me feel good. So, you know, if, whether that's your job, whether that's your friends, whether that's someone in your family. Like I know it's not that easy to cut out people in your life, but it's definitely, you need to sometimes sit back and think, okay, are these people impacting me in a positive way? Are they helping my mindset? Back when I think about when I was most anxious, is anxious was because of some of the people that I did have in my life at that time. So definitely, I know it's not easy just to cut someone out of your life or, you know, be like, stop talking to someone, but it's definitely, at the end of the day like your health is your wealth and if you're meant if someone's mentally not making you feel better it's not good for your health so you have to like not saying like cut them out of your life but maybe just distance yourself and you know maybe meet new people or you know put yourself in different situations that are going to help you your mindset rather than making you in that negative mindset because i i have found in the past find people that aren't making you feel better mentally really does affect your mindset and it's it can be very hard when you're surrounding yourself with people it's very, it can be very hard when you when you when you love someone or you care about people and then but then you are you know that they're not good for you or you know that they're not impacting your life in a positive way and it can be very very hard to cut them people out of your life but at the end of the day your life should be like should be impacting you positively they should be making you feel good they shouldn't make you feel bad about yourself they shouldn't make you doubt yourself so my tip number five, even though that was a bit of a deep one, was definitely just surround yourself with good people um, and people that are going to make you feel good and make you feel happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely like to do more anxiety videos because that's something that's really close to my heart and um, it's something that I care about a lot. So if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!